Barbara, and this is Simon Says. To acknowledge that we are teaching on Treaty 6 land, I would like to share with you Deanna Morin's explanation of why we take the time to acknowledge the land on which we teach. Well, for first, first and foremost, uh, in, in the Cree language, we call it, we call it Aski, which means Mother Earth. And it's passed on to us from many generations prior to us, from our ancestors that we've been steward, we are stewards of the land. As the land gives us life, it gives us the air we breathe, it gives us the food we eat, it gives us the land we walk on. And it's, um, it's, I guess the staple, it's the staple of our lives and it helps us, it helps us live. I would like to thank all the students who joined our SEC workshops last week and a special thank you to Parks Canada for their excellent presentation, Wild About Wildlife. And also thank you to all those students who eagerly participated in that presentation. Last week, we learned about Indigenous stories and how stories often reflect our culture. Listen as Daniel shares a wonderful story from his culture in Panama. Thank you so much for sharing, Daniel. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I would like to share a story from my country. Uh, so let's go. Uh, many years ago, there was an indigenous girl uh, called Nome. She was a beautiful princess in the tribe of the chief Uraka. Unfortunately, she fell in love with a warrior and prince for an enemy tribe called Jarabi. She decided to escape with her lover, and their families did not want a marriage between Nome and Jarabi, so they got very angry. The tribes were at war, and many people died. She went far away, walked up a mountain, and lay over the grass at the top of the mountain. The ground felt her sadness, and it began to cover her until the mountain took her shape. Nowadays, many people like to go to uh, to, uh, to go up this mountain to see the place where the beautiful princess Nome died. The mountain now is called the Sleeping Woman. Thank you. This is our last week of Student Engagement Center workshops. Be sure to join us to practice your listening skills on Tuesday and to strengthen your writing skills on Wednesday. And of course, join us and our volunteers to chat on Thursday's Conversation Club. Remember, you are also invited to make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me if you would like any extra help or advice with your skills or with your upcoming academic choices. Our last online lesson this term is focusing on academic choices. As many of you are finishing up the EAP program, you might have a lot on your mind about what comes next. From choosing courses to finding accommodations and booking airplane tickets, it's an exciting and stressful time. I have an exciting invitation for you. As Alberta slowly lifts restrictions, we are going to be able to have another campus adventure. I would like to invite students here in Edmonton to join me for another campus adventure. We will meet at the University Station Hub Mall entrance. Be sure to wear your masks and to practice social distancing. I look forward to seeing you then. And this was Simon Says.